Our next guest has been churning out hits for almost 20 years, and we are so excited about his brand new album, Closer to Mars. Please welcome Mario. Good morning, ladies. Hi, Mario. Good morning. Good morning. It's so good to see you guys, even though we're over Zoom. Yeah, hey, it's good to see you. Y'all haven't lost a beat. Y'all haven't lost a beat. <laughs> no, like, I still feel like I'm inside here. of the studio every time I watch the we're show. Trying, we're trying, we're trying. We're yes. trying real hard. Mario, you not only have been a big <laughs> member of our fam, but you've always been so great to your fans, but you took it to a whole nother level when you posted your phone number on your Twitter account. Has your phone been blowing up? What, what's going Every on? Day. What made this move? <laughs> Every day. No, it's, uh, it's been going crazy, but it's been great. I mean, keeping me entertained during quarantine and, uh, you know, just really keeping my fans up to date on the music, on me writing, um, just the whole process, I think. During this time, you know, it was a great time for us to not only get closer to ourselves, but closer to our projects that we've been holding off on or things that we're really passionate about. Uh, before quarantine, I was on the road traveling. I was touring. I was shooting a, um, a TV show out of, out of town. and I wasn't home a lot, so it was just kind of like I had time to just be in my own space. Um, and I haven't had time to do that in, in so long, so it was great. And as far as the fans go, they just been showing super love, you know? When people have a direct connect to you, it's never, you never know what you're going to get text. But I definitely want to know, what's, like, the craziest thing someone has texted you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the craziest? Keep it real. I don't know. It really depends. You know, we're going to keep it real on here. It really depends on what you call crazy. I mean, I've gotten nudes. I've gotten... Listen. Okay. Garcelle, what's that thing you said you went and got in your drawer last week? I got that. <laughs> <laughs> You be tuning in. You do you know watch the show. No, listen. <laughs> listen, I'm a fan. Listen, ladies, I'm a fan of what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? So I've got no time. But you know, I'm going to tell you, the, the most incredible thing that I think I've gotten, the types of things that, I, that really touch me is when people actually text me and tell me how my story, my life, my music, just everything has affected them in a positive way and kind of keeping them wow. in a good space during quarantine. Those types of messages always for me is motivation and just on a you know, on a soul level. You know, the big thing right now are these versus battles. And if you could battle with anybody, dead or alive, who would you battle? Oh man, I'll say, I'll say, um, Stevie Wonder. Now I know, of course, I'm blown out of the water. Like, he gonna, he gonna kill me. Wow! But just the conversation, you know, I feel like we gotta give our great flowers while they're here. And I feel like, you know, he's somebody who inspired me so much. And I think he's inspired a lot of us um, musically. And just to have that conversation. So what I realized about bad, um, the, the verses is that it's not just about people balloting, balloting each other. It's the stories. It's the moment. It's yeah. um, the, the nostalgia. In it, you know, so for me, that would just be a great conversation to, to merge the generations and give the, our generation uh, insight to what it was like for him as an artist. Like, we live in a completely different you know, world when it comes to music and, and, and art and That's true. social media. So to hear something from his perspective would be incredible just to talk through his. But if I had to we, talk we about somebody to modern that I would battle, I think me and Omario would be a dope for my generation. I think Oh, that dope, would be like, good. That, now that, that would, would be good. So that good. would be amazing. Yeah. That would so be really good. good. Um, Mario, your new album is called Closer to Mars. Are you into astrology? You know what? <laughs> I am. I am. Even our time is built around the elementals. So how can we not appreciate it? Yeah. Okay, so how yeah. severe are That's you, great. Mario, when it comes to dating? Do you really take in <laughs> the, the someone's astrological severe. sign? Do you turn them away if they don't match? Severe? How severe are you? Nah, I'm not that severe. I'm very open. You know what I'm saying? I know what signs I like. I know what signs that I think, I, I think I'm a good match What with, signs do you like? What open. signs do you well, like? You are on the real. Give, them, give us My your favorite. compatibilities. Yeah, my, I don't I, see. I don't know exactly what they said I'm compatible with, but what I think I'm compatible with: um, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, um, okay. Sagittarius. I want to oh. say Scorpio because I've been hearing a lot about Scorpio, but I've never dated a Scorpio, so I don't know yet. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, we'll those, change those your life, I'll like tell you. We will Virgos. change your I, life. I like other Virgo. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Who said that? Who said that? Scorpio. You a Scorpio? Sag. Yes. Sag, Sag Scorpio. Okay. Nah, yeah. I, I and a Scorpio cancer. Lonnie's a cancer. 
I love it. Okay. Now, before you go, though, before we let you go, you've actually got something super exciting coming up that we want to hear about. What is that? So, yeah, I, um, I'll be doing one of my first virtual shows, which is really exciting because I've done a few, but this one will be, like, really, like, set up for fans and, like, their enjoyment and making sure we cover all their bases. It's a longer show than usual. Um, we're, we're getting a date together now for it, but if y'all follow me on the Grand Mario Worldwide, all of that will be coming out soon. We're getting everything, all the details together, but after my EP comes out on October 16th. So, yeah, it's going to be lit. Looking forward to it. That's so nice. great. Wow, well, we have a lot going on. We're excited for you. Really, really excited. Thank Mario, thank, thank you, you so much for joining us today. You can get Always. his album Closer to Mars on October 16th, wherever music is sold.